Civil War commissary sergeants in both armies managed warehouses, sold goods to officers, distributed rations, and prepared meals for garrisons. They did not serve meals during battles with one noteworthy exception. Today in Maryland, there's a monument to the commissary sergeant of the 23rd Ohio Volunteer Infantry, honoring his bravery during the Battle of Antietam, the bloodiest single day of the war. He risked his life supporting his regiment while under fire. Confederate artillery hit one of his wagons, but he got the other across a bridge and up a steep hill the regiment had just captured. While they rested, he brought them hot food and coffee. The regiment's colonel was Rutherford B. Hayes, who became president of the United States in 1877. That makes the 23rd Ohio the only Civil War regiment with two future presidents in its ranks, because the commissary sergeant became president in 1897. He was William McKinley, the only commissary sergeant, officer, or employee to ever become president. With a minute of history, I'm Pete Skirbot, DECA historian.